right now, but Anton Watson did a great job of tapping that out. Ball, he goes to the boards every time. What a move. Holmgren spins, no, follows, yes! An experienced player. Great job on the screen roll. Michael Greenstein are the officials. And we're underway in Vegas. You should see, you name it. Jeff Holmgren starting off on Paolo Bancaro and goes for sent from the line. Misses them both. Wendell Mar guarding Andrew Nemhard just switched off. Good pass. Timmy gets free and reverses it in. He was a sophomore a year ago, even better this year. Bancaro with the jumper, and the Blue Devils are on the board. Bancaro got a switch. Timmy on him, and Timmy was giving him some space to take away the drive. Holmgren with a drive, and Williams got all of that. We have two outstanding shot blockers in this game. And how about Williams running the floor? Three games. That was a great sequence of blocking the shot, running the court, and getting the easy layup. Great cut. Holmgren underneath. And up and in to give the Zags the lead. You'll have to make a pass with 7-4 on you. <laughs> Heels for three. The freshman from really shoot. Drew Timmy spent a lot of the summer working on that three-pointer. Misses that attempt. And Keels thinking about another one. Up top to Williams. Well, you took dude since, and a lot of it has to do with Mark Williams. Well, a great job by Keels of giving a little shot fake to Chet Holmgren, who bit on it. Transfer from Iowa State around and out on the three. Van Carroll with a full head of steam. Whoa! Wave off the basket as Holmgren got caught way up in the air. Four different players that can grab a defensive rebound and start the break without having to outlet it. Good shot fake by Mark Williams to pick up that foul on Chet Holmgren and a nice pass by Bancaro. But Duke Williams is going to put up the three, and Gonzaga will give him that. Nemhard, what a pass to Fulton. John, the transfer from Marquette into the game off the bench for Mark Williams for Duke. Jeremy Rhodes somehow up and in. Really kept his dribble well. He had a high turnover rate last year, but now a two to one assist to turnover ratio this year. Good fake. And Holmgren gets the shot off, misses the three. And again, he can handle, he can shoot, he can do a ton of different things. Wendell Moore Jr. doing a ton of different things this year for the Blue Devils. Zaga having a tough time stopping the ball in transition. Bolton around, Keels inside of the lay-in for Strother. This is such a good passing team, Dan, when they get past somebody. And another opportunity for the Zags. Strother misses a good look from the corner. Shots seem to be rushed right now, but Anton Watson did a great job of tapping that out. And the lead grows. Tipped away by Moore. And he missed the dunk. There was some contact there, but not enough for a foul, apparently. Bolton. And the first three of the night for the Zags stems the tide, at least for now. The lead is for Prospects with Bancaro, you have a guy who can really score the ball. He's physical, he's polished, he's NBA ready. And then Chet Holmgren, a guy who needs to fit. Half court has been pushed out a little bit further on the floor. Good cut. Now teams work on Williams in the post. Just a simple screen and slip to the basket. And Holmgren was high up. Both these teams execute so well. And Bancaro right into the chest of Chet Holmgren for a bucket and Holmgren's second foul. He does this in a lot of games. Watch his right arm. Goes right behind him. That's what got the foul. The other stuff didn't. That was offense-initiated contact, but because his arm was wrapped around him, he got the foul. What a switch. Follow won't go, and here come the Blue Devils again. Bancaro, Williams! Now two for ten from three-point range. Can't ask for a better shot. Great pass by Timmy. Oh, boy. Paulo Bancaro is taking over. 
Seattle will get a lot of ball handling, ball handling responsibilities. Razier Bolton as well. Bolton wide open on the wing, and he buries a three. He is back to an open area, set his feet, and got a shot. Better than 15 again last year for the Cyclones. And speaking of 15... Up and down they go here in Las Vegas. What a pass. And a challenge there by Caden Perry. And back come the Zags. Jimmy fortunate he didn't turn it over. Strauber drops it in. And Watson waiting to check in for the Zags. Good pass. Bancaro again. With 10 on the shot clock. Into Williams and the finish. That is a awesome. last year as a freshman. Really came on in the second half, and he's picking up where he left off this year. Timmy over him off the glass. And Zaga does not hesitate in transition. Just a great cut by Andrew Nemhard. How many big guys can thread a needle like that? Got to have a with two fouls. Just over four minutes to go, first half. Wendell Moore Jr. right into the body of Timmy, and it goes. No look from Nemhard to Strother, and Williams with another block. Went straight up, and he's got a 7-3 wingspan himself. Van Carroll between the legs, behind the back, and knocks down the long jumper. Holy cow! For Duke's 40. Strother. Beautiful passing by the Zags in the bucket for Bolton. We're trying to back down to Bolton. Now the kick to Roach. Williams over Timmy. And he's in it. Good pass. That's good job. Timmy. Going right at Williams, and that is an offensive foul. Number two. On oh, here, here they go. He was on the bench almost nine minutes. Heels. Nice shot. Look, Holmgren as many ball screens as they can. Holmgren fading away over Williams, and that will go. Strother for three. Got it! Strother did a really nice job offense. He had a really good floor game in that first half. Pancaro driving on Holmgren, and Holmgren comes up with a block. Well, a statement made by Holmgren to begin the second half. Did a good job of keeping Pancaro away from his body, gave ground, and that was an offensive foul on Timmy. And for Drew Timmy, that is number three. That is Zags' big minutes, and you wonder if they'll try to go right at him. They should. I mean, he's an experienced player. Great job on the screen roll. Fourth assist of the night for Wendell Moore Jr. And Mark Williams now has 13. And Williams has six blocks, but Strother. Put on the move a little bit more other than lock him down in that post. Holmgren driving on to Bancaro. Can't get a shot off. Strother can. And hits! Because of them starting Williams, putting him in the ball screen. Heels the kick. Moore for three. Got it! Wendell Moore was he's so good at finding openings. Heels driving. Extra pass again. Moore challenges Timmy. No foul on Timmy, but a tough finish for Moore. Great drive of the closeout by Wendell Moore. Timmy left hand. Footwork is using. Hearing his footsteps a little bit. Nemhard. Timmy. Blocked, but a foul is called on Mark Williams. Mike Krzyzewski is livid. Take by Timmy. Wow. Yeah, that's a missed call there. That's a big miss. That's all. Timmy back door for Strother knocked away. That's that second cut, the double cut, they call it. Back here, it keeps you on, on your toes defensively, doesn't he? Because he can hurt you so many ways. As can Moore. They just spread the floor, went down one. Yeah, yeah. 
John, jump hook. Smart play by Theo John to take on Timmy down in the post. Timmy doesn't want to pick up a foul. Tough pass. Holmgren led Timmy a little too far. Initiating so much of the offense for them. John over Timmy again. Right hand hook, left hand hook. Just going right at Drew Timmy in the post. At the other end, Strother. He's got 18. Boy, Dan, you can't. Listen to the 18 points he's got. He's 6'7", and he really goes after the ball. He goes to the boards every time. What a move. Holmgren spins. No. Follows. Yes. He's quicker to the ball. Thank you. For Duke, with arguably their, or three of their best championships, as well, the two coaches also have a bit of a relationship for USA Basketball. As Gonzaga, and both off to incredible starts this year. Holmgren misses the three, and it belongs to Duke. Not sure that was the shot that Gonzaga wanted. But more, he just dribbled into trouble right there. And he turned it over. Strother can only save it into the hands of Moore. Great opportunity for Gonzaga. They just pitched it away. Baker banks home a three. Emhard burst of speed. Bolton misses the three. Holmgren has it knocked away. And it belongs to the Blue Devils. Keels right into the chest of Nemhard, who went straight up and no foul in the back from the Zags. Watson knocked it away. Nemhard with a left hand. Zags by one. Probably for an IV, I would guess. Griffin steps in, and that one is caught more than blocked by Holmgren. Nemhard, Strother, yes! That is such a tough shot, but Julius. Hickman, the freshman from Seattle, limited minutes tonight. Great cut again, but Strother misses the reverse. Great outlet by Williams. Roach. Baker with a great shot fake, and Duke has the lead. And Watson all alone underneath. Holmgren and Williams. Fade away. Yes. Boy, the skill. Paulo Bancaro coming out of the tunnel. Shot clock at two, and a block by Watson. And a run out for Hickman. A good matchup all night long between Moore and Nemhard. Moore uses the screen and buries the jump. Quick post against Hickman to get Trevor Keels from the corner into the post, but Hickman did a pretty good job. Moore splits the double, but is called for the offensive foul. Bolton. Nemhard into Watson. Off the oh, block pass. And there's that vertical cut. From past the ball, just a fantastic cut by Chet Holmgren. They call that a vertical cut because he's coming from the top. Good pass into the post and an even better pass on that drop off. Yesterday at practice, Emhart in some trouble, take it away. Keels, Roach, Moore, Williams. Let's correct it. Strother only has three fouls. Bancaro, no. Roach has it for Duke. Puts it back up and hits. Mark Williams taps it. There's a steal by Moore. And now Holmgren is called for the foul. And that'll be the shot clock. Gonzaga looking not only to get that first cut, but that double cut, the second cutter. Holmgren looking for Timmy, couldn't get it to him. Now the shot clock down to seven. Nemhart a step back three. And an offensive rebound by Holmgren. They're going to call a walk, aren't they? Yeah, they are. A lot of contact. But what's he... And great D by Keels. Knocked it away, and Williams has it for Duke. They saw Timmy on the roll. He just couldn't get it through. Heels on the drive. 
And fouled by Holmgren. One of two, three pointers. So they go to Timmy. And he converts. Them hard to Timmy. Up top to Holmgren. One point game. Instead, he just lobbed it up to Holmgren. Big time. Inside the final minute of regulation in a one point game. Who will it be? It'll be Jeremy Roach. Them hard to Timmy. Timmy over Williams and won't go down. Looking to get the foul instead of just make the shot. Yeah, now Nemhard has to give the foul. That'll be his third, and Moore has a couple of free presentation. And he couldn't finish the play. Had an angle, got into his body a little bit, got into his arms. He was looking more to draw that. Bolton inside and lays it in to make it a three-point game, 18 points. Bancaro looking for Moore. And Moore split the time. They have to be alert. Four-point game. Timeout, Mike. But they're down four with 17 seconds left in this one. Duke with a little 2-2-1 two -two just to slow the advance. And it worked. Strother can't get the shot off. Seconds ticking away. Bolton the miss. Holmgren puts it in, but just a second and a half to go. That 2 2 1 really worked. Gonzaga almost walked it up. I mean, really surprising that they didn't come up. million to one Timmy and Duke will win it a fantastic early season college basketball game between two of the best programs in America and the Blue Devils defeat